And this time we are going to do Master Chief from the Jazz Wares collection. I found this one at Target. Uh, this one came out in 2021. And here he is. I've taken him apart as much as I want to. He's all uh, cleaned up. Gave him a, a soak and a bath. And uh, this torso does come off. I just haven't pulled it off yet. But it will come up. It's fairly simple. But now I'm going to do some battle damage to his kneecaps. This figure was uh, 1999, which kind of surprised me because the plastic is on the legs is pretty flimsy. That sometimes I felt like I was gonna break it. And I just went ahead and painted the bottom of the feet as well. I don't usually like to leave anything unpainted. And then after his feet, I'm going to go ahead and paint, uh, I guess, the vents on his suit. I'm not sure exactly what they are. But they should be black. I didn't like it. They were just a solid green. And this is a pretty bright green. I'm surprised this is what they used for Master Chief. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm actually trying to get a likeness to the Paramount Plus series, Halo series. And you'll see um, with the wash, this is only the first layer. Um, as you can see, it's, it looks a little better. But it's not quite as dark as I'd like. And for the wash, I am using just a generic shoe polish. Shoe polish. You don't have to use kiwi, you can use whatever you use, as long as the top comes off and you can pour it out. And all plastics are different. So on this one, the sponge worked a lot better than, I usually just use a paper towel to dab it off. But the sponge worked a lot better. And there he is, first coat done. But like I said, I don't like the way it looked. It still looks a little too light. So I'm doing a second coat, and there it is, after the second coat. Much better, much more accurate to the Paramount Plus Halo Master Chief. Now it's time for a little battle damage with the silver rub and buff. And what's good about this rub and buff is that if the spot that you may have hit too much or you don't like the way it looks you can like it rub it off and start again and that's actually one of the downsides sides of it is that it does rub off pretty simple so you gotta watch it so just don't be playing with it after you got the look that you want and that's what the um, varnish spray is for it keeps it so it doesn't rub off
And this is the varnish that I use, Army Painter Matte Varnish. Okay, I've given it one coat, and then I've decided this time to try something a little new. I went ahead and used makeup for the dusting down of the desert sand. I wanted him to look like he still was just full of grit and sand. And I used a makeup brush, which is much cheaper than a regular brush. And my wife's out of town, so I borrowed her makeup. So now I'm going to have to get my own a palette much like this so I can have many different shades and I'm definitely going to use this again in the future instead of airbrushing I'm going to go ahead and use this for giving anybody's boots a dusting like they've been in the streets for too long or they just don't clean their boots and in this case his whole suit and the after effect was amazing how it just looked like there was still sand in all the crevices and just on his suit so after I'm done this I'm going to go ahead and spray it again with the matte varnish to keep it in place. And you've probably noticed the blue tape on his visor. I wanted to keep that nice and shiny. I didn't want to mat it down. And I did end up doing the hands separately, so that all the hands got hit, and so did the guns. And here he is. You can see the dusting, you see the dirt in the crevices. He's just too busy. Not, no time at all to wash his suit. That makeup trick turned out really good. I really like the look of it. And there you go. There's some before pictures. Really bright green, really distracting. And there's the after photos. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you'd like to see, if you have a particular character you'd like to see done next, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it.